Hello everybody, we will be starting in 5 minutes. Today I'm unfortunately having some problems with my uh, internet, so I'm just hoping that this stream w won't break. In any case, I will be uh, recording everything, so if there are some parts that are missing, uh, yeah, I can uh, re restream them them later. We will be starting in four minutes. Hello everybody, so we are starting, uh, yeah, uh, we have here VJ Anamoli, yo Oliver loved that COVID car VP demo you made, thank you very much, it was an experiment on uh, like how to use virtual production in uh, for some new use cases okay uh yeah i i'm just hoping really i have some problems big problems with the internet last days and uh i'm just hoping that this connection won't break and that 
you can see everything so maybe I will be switching uh, less from a live camera because live camera always has uses uh, more bandwidth uh, lately uh, I wasn't doing many streams no I wasn't actually doing any streams because I had uh, other things to do and also I had I have always these problems with the internet so this is the first time and as this project like uh, isn't anything crucial it's not about uh, it's more like a vlog of doing something with uh, with unity and even if it, it breaks, uh, if a connection breaks, I can always upload just a video that I I already made, already saved locally. Uh, so uh, let's start from the beginning because uh, today I watched this movie by uh, this YouTube video by Crew Corridor. Uh, I don't know if you know them, but they are uh pretty interesting guys that are usually doing some break up break up uh breakups of uh, movie scenes and uh, visual effects and then they are also trying to make those visual effects in their studio uh, and this content was about uh dune movie that actually i did even didn't see uh, didn't have occasion to see at the moment but uh, there was this scene and I will play you what they they did use it on you here we go Leave a comment. Dang. <laughs> now you're compelled right how dare you use the voice on me so I think one of the coolest things that the new dune got right is how they designed the dragonfly-esque ornithopters Oh my god, they're, they're actual dragonflies. Dragonflies are the coolest animals in the world and I love any sort of ship designed after them. Like I said, I've been avoiding seeing any imagery from this movie, so this is my first time seeing any of it and I love it. <laughs> oh, I love that shot. Look at that. Wow, dude, that's wow. so good. That is, it, it is oh. amazing. That motion blur on the yeah, wings. so good. Yes, yes. They nailed the motion blur for high speed movement like that. Mm -hmm. Like we're talking like such high frequency of motion that like in a single shutter, not only does it go down, it goes back up and back down and back up again. And, and then, but it's catching the light. That the there's swing. moments there where it's, at, yeah, that shine. Uh, there's moments when it's catching the light and exposing it well enough that there's no motion blur just built in. How would you do that kind of like motion blur? Like normally when you're doing motion blur with visual effects, you would render out a like a, a vector motion pass basically, mm -hmm. which is like your image except it's a, it's a rainbow and each color corresponds to a different direction and speed that things are moving. But when you deal with something like this where it's moving so fast that it would go beyond any value you could possibly assign your motion blur, it's like you have to do it custom. I wonder how much of that flapping is a post effect. I don't know if the render engines are actually good enough to replicate that the way we're seeing it because how many sub steps would you have to have in order to be able to have like that perfect many sort of, <laughs> yeah lots of sub steps a lot of sub sampling i have a feeling that a lot of the motion blur of the wings was pushed further in compositing rather than the render stage i agree that's really well thought out someone had to do a lot of research into real dragonflies in order to make sure that this shot looked as cool as possible Hey, real quick, let's show the Thopters in the 1984 version. I don't even remember them. Okay, yeah, so this is what, uh, what it's all about. Uh, yeah, Shai and Niazi, yeah, I think Decker can pull off that motion blur pretty easily. Of course, this was also a main reason why I wanted to make uh, this video, because no, why I wanted to make a Decker render, because I needed this thing to to, to work well. So yeah, uh, today I wanted just to like 
to recreate, uh, let me see where it is, uh, this scene, uh, sorry, like this, this scene here. Oh, I love that shot. Look at that. Wow, dude, that's wow. so... Exactly like it is, okay. So let's go into it, and uh, hopefully, I think that, I, I hope that we won't have any more glitches here okay uh, what i did uh, before the stream i just bought uh, from a cg trader i bought this uh, this model of uh, already done of uh, of that dragonfly machine uh, and we will, I will start just by making a new scene. Let's call it basic outdoors. I, I'm right now working in the uh, uh, HDRP. So I'll be just creating this one, okay. And uh, yeah, just pretty basic outdoor scene. Let's call it uh, Dragonfly. Uh, no, okay, yeah, dragonfly, yeah, I already have a uh, dragonfly, yeah, let's call it like this. And then I have here, here, the, this model, it's not fixed yet because it wasn't compatible with, with, uh, with Unity, but yeah, uh, it should work pretty well. I think. Also, I would like to. Yeah, I think that the scale is correct. I'm usually just trying to add some cube and see if. Yeah, probably it's okay. You can see that some materials aren't assigned as they sh should be, so I will be just. Yeah, I have to drop down those. Uh, those values let's try uh, first thing that I'm always doing in HDRP because I really not that I hate it. yeah I hate it that it's always uh, set exposure is set to uh, automatic and I hate this thing because uh, I al al also hate it uh, when it's set like that in Unreal and I hate it here and uh, let me see out of a mode okay i have to set here on fixed okay so i will be just dropping this exposure here down 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 let's see something like that and let's just rotate a little bit this sky well no this sky this light here just for a moment just to see what we can do here. Yeah, something like that will we'll work for now. Uh, then I will have to fix a little bit those materials because I think that I don't have any. No, I have here normal map that I have assigned, but other than that, I don't have too much. I will try just to to make it more or something like this, okay. And maybe just look at the try just already to match something like in original the seed. Yeah, we had something like two of those, but yeah. For now, let's try to fix this because I think that this one doesn't have any, yeah, it doesn't have any uh, normal, so I'll drop this normal map, okay, here. Let me just fix it because I don't think it's, huh? oh, it's already assigned. Uh, then... Yeah, we could also sign. 
One of the things right now in HDRP is that it's pretty difficult to uh, to assign materials that have combined textures. As in HDRP, you have to combine all, all textures. And I'm not about doing this. This is just uh, like small, small work. Let me just check also this uh, material. No, what is this? Is, ah, okay, this is it. Just, just check because we have here two materials and I don't know which is which. Uh, this is normal map, this is it. Oh, everything is same, so no. I don't know what the developer did there. Uh, and probably we have here also glass material. Glass, glass, where is... Uh, I don't see it. But material... Oh, okay, glass material is here. Okay, so let's see this. Put it to transparent, something like that. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing screen, why? I don't know. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so we have here those things. I just tried to, to fix them a little bit. Uh, I, don't, don't, I don't like how this looks. Oh, no, okay. Opaque, yeah. Uh, I'm wrong to sign this one. Okay, something like that. Not too metallic because we didn't had there too much of metallic. I'll put something like that, then go into this material, just check it like this fuzz is oops. I also drop that down this one. Normal map, let's see if this changes, it doesn't change anything. Yeah, of course, these aren't extremely uh, well made, but objects, but never mind. Int, material, okay. Nice. Okay, oh yeah, this is this. And where we have, uh, I don't know where is the glass. Probably this one is fuzz. Okay, here is the glass material. Okay, so let's say this this is transparent. Let's uh, turn off this alpha clipping because we don't need it. Then we'll be just adding some some bit of smoothness. Okay. Turning off this, and then uh, let's see if we have here some glass. Okay, yeah, we have glass uh, base color. Okay, glass opacity, and of course, this everything should be mixed together, but it's not. So let's see what can we do here. Yeah, this is a pretty Nothing special. I'm just trying to make it huh. okay. The normal map, I have to set it to normal map, probably. This to normal map, uh, it's already set to normal map, okay. Later, I will, I, will, I will be looking into what I can do with this materials if I need it. Glass. Oh, let me just check. Tuck. Okay, something like that, but it's not correct. Okay, 
It looks like this dog web isn't perfect. Smoothness, okay. Then we had here some ambient occlusion, let's add. No. B -b -b glass, big set. Yeah, I'm just trying to mix something here. It's not exp okay. Let's keep it right now, like this, for a moment. Next step is like trying to just fix. Okay, yeah, this this one has. All those things that are, uh, unfortunately, who made this didn't uh, create any hierarchy here. Back gear, let's put it, okay, now we have to just break down prefab, unpack. Uh, back gear to put it, okay, down here and then just, okay. Turn it up a little bit so that, it, that it's closed because it is, yeah, something like that. Let me just check what is going on here on chat if we have some questions. Okay. Okay. Right now, what would we need here is probably. So, okay, let's check first. Uh, what, how can we make something that looks nice? I have few uh, assets. That I bought many years ago. And then, what is this? Why? Why I have to sign it? Oh my god. Okay, so let's see. For my assets, I want to find some rocks because I can see that in this original video there are some uh, nice rocks behind. Oh, yeah. This is something like that. And I will just fill my scene with those rocks, something similar. I will just try to tune them up a little bit. So let's search for here rock. Uh, yeah, I have this better rocks. No, wait. I have arid environment rocks. This is nice asset. So I'll be using this one. Let's import it. Uh, is Unity Hub version 3 working properly yet? Uh, first time I used it, it was broken. And I'm only... Uh, I don't know, it works for me pretty well. It doesn't have any problems. Uh, absolutely, like, okay. I don't know. But I have some nasty problem from uh, in every version of you have that some of my projects uh, doesn't update a date of their their creation, so they are always finishing like last projects, but they I'm using them almost every day, so it's like 
a little bit strange thing, but I don't know. Okay, so uh, I'm coming back to this one. Let me see where it is. Uh, uh, pa, 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 pa. Our environment. Okay, so we have here some ground texture. Okay, but this project wasn't made for you uh, for HDRP. So I will have to go here into uh, assets, edit uh, selection, let me see, rendering. Uh, how it was, I always forget graphics. No, wait. So, uh, assets. I have to convert this. How it was? Does anybody remember? Selection is shortness. Rendering. Ah, okay, materials. Okay, so upgrade uh, converter, cover size building materials to HDRP. Cover scene theory. Okay. Convert all building materials to HDRP. Okay, so I have converted this thing. I will just be creating some. Uh, let's say, let's create some uh, terrain here underneath. Well, this is really. Okay, something like that. I will just move everything a little bit up. Uh, and let's see ground textures. Here we have some nice ground textures. Yeah, probably something like I know I can't assign it. Uh, I will be just no. I will probably yeah. I will be just painting over terrain a little bit. Brush size. Let me see brush size. Opacity. Probably opposite a little bit more. Okay, so let's just bring this somewhere a little bit more. Okay, something like that, just to have a little bit of of terrain. Then let's go to materials. Edit. Where are the levels? Uh, details. No. Here. No. Terrain settings. Paint texture, okay. So let's see settings. Editor uh, is add layer, okay. So I'll be adding layer. Create layer. Uh, what it will be? Gra gravel. Gravel. Okay. Okay, gravel, ground, what is this? This is hay, this is diffuse, okay, diffuse. Okay, I will have to scale this one. Uh, size zero point, no wait, 10, 10, no, 50, 50, something like that for a moment. Normal map, uh, normal, okay. Just tune it a little bit, okay, now, nothing more. And then, I will just start, let me see it here, yeah, painting a little bit on terrain. Uh, yeah, we can also add another layer let's call this gravel okay gravel ground diffuse okay this one uh, ah.
Yeah, and let's set also this one to 50, something like that. 50, 50. And then try just to paint it a little bit. Okay, something like that. Nothing too much, but just to break this tiling. Even if we won't see anything here, but never mind. Uh, what I don't understand right now is... Yeah, I wasn't working with terrain tools for... for much of a time. For many years. And I don't see here that we have a possibility to change a diffuse. So it's a little bit... Okay, something like that. But uh, never mind. Let's try to find some rocks. Okay, scale them up and just try to make some kind of a uh, let me see we are here yeah we need something much bigger because we are using here bigger bigger rocks uh yeah this one could work okay scale it up oops scale it up okay i think that already we have something that because anyway this thing will have to go it will be uh, just our background so I'm I'm usually not trying to make anything that more from what I actually need. So this is something like that. Uh, let's move main camera. Okay, and let's just right now look into original video. No, I will be just also doing this thing here because i i saw already that in the original video we had some rocks that were a little bit more ready but also the sun was a little bit more reddish so yeah i will just try to to move it around a little bit okay yeah, and if we look here original, it's nothing like that, but never mind. We will come to that one similar, something similar, sooner or later. Uh, one of the things is that we have to take our camera probably move it a little bit further zoom a little bit more move it to the right side and put something like that let's activate right now uh decker render i will just be decked render component okay let's set it to uh use autofocus okay okay my autofocus doesn't work why does it work because probably this thing here doesn't have any colliders so i will have to go uh, upload the uh, I can't do it okay let me just check here okay let's uh, uh and add here mesh uh, add conclude mesh collider this is just to be able to to, to render this thing to to okay so right now my 
lighting is really horrible. Okay, let me check this out. Yeah, it's nothing like I want. So we will go a little bit into this uh, physically based sky. Let's set it to advanced earth. Uh, let's say that we want some kind of a uh, tint on the, on the ground because here we have some emission from the ground. Fog. I'm not sure if we do. Okay. No. We can keep it there, but it's not in like this. Okay. Main camera. Let's go a little bit closer. Something like that. And one of the things that we need here right now is to add some light and a reflection probe because reflection probes can really add much to a to a scene. Okay, I will just place it like here and then say make a real time for a moment. Multiplier, let's see. Yeah, it already looks much better. Yeah, I, I must say that I hate these glasses here. So they are really, they aren't good. So let me see if we can change those glasses. Because if I look at, at the original, it's almost like uh, it's even isn't transparent. I saw also that we have here glass emissive. So let's put this glass emissive. Let's say emission intensity doesn't change anything. I'm not sure if, if it even has some kind of UV because it looks like it looks almost like it doesn't have any normal map. Okay, and uh, yeah, we can just try also this one. Alpha blending, uh, sorting priority. I think that we have, okay, probably this one could be a better thing, but it's nothing good. Never mind, okay. Smoothness. Original doesn't have any glass. Yeah, you can see here that materials are pretty ha, ha, pretty ha. But this isn't something that I I have decided. It's more like. Yeah, and then let's go here and add a little bit of what we don't have here is ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion, okay. Who doesn't know? Ambient occlusion serves to create some shadowing. Something like that.
And also, let's check here aperture, aperture because this was probably shot on IMAX. IMAX, if it was okay, something like that. I want something more of the blur, background blur. Let's check original. Uh, okay, original is something. Oh no, it, yeah, it doesn't have so much. Okay, so what we can do here is I want this to be a little bit more reddish, orangey. Okay, orangey. This one also somewhat more orangey. Uh, let me just check this. Uh, set it to a little bit orangey, something like this. Yeah, it will match more. The mood. Let's take this one also, bring it to more orangey. Okay. Something like this. And then uh, duplicate. Uh, let me see. Okay. Duplicate this one. I think that it could be a nice thing. No, it should be a smaller. I want just to create. Uh, I'm trying to create more levels of how to say of interest. Oh my god, my mouse doesn't work anymore. My mouse doesn't work. Okay. No, it doesn't work anymore. Let's change USB port. Okay, it works right now. Uh, so. Yeah, but I don't like how this model looks. I absolutely don't like it. <laughs> This is too... This is too flat looking. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> uh, ba, 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 ba. Let's move also this... Br this a little bit here yeah probably we don't need so much of that background blur let's just drop it a little bit down okay Uh, Shyan Niazi, uh, I think you can fix the modern blender, changing its face's normal direction. Uh, but I don't think it's uh, normal direction, it's just like, no. you see here, it doesn't actually, those normals aren't, <laughs> there aren't any normals, you can see here, it's like, nothing yeah it's a model so uh, also for this glass normal there there is no normal so it's it's like basic thing also there here we don't yeah, here we have some normals but i don't understand even why they they put it there uh, I will probably, you know, 
I can always, and I'm usually doing this, I'm creating some kind of, uh, of procedural shaders that might, may add some dirt and, and things like that. So for now, I just wanted to to be uh, more or less uh, correct, uh, like, yeah, you can see here that there are much more details and this one doesn't have any of those so yeah I think that I will have to uh, add some dirt absolutely also there are much more details here but yeah for a moment let's just uh, pretend that it that it works and then afterwards I, I might re-export and re-import everything with some fixed uh, fixed objects for me right now uh, what is important is like to create something that yeah for probably also this base color is yeah I, I could try this one because for example this base color it's a pretty unified pretty flat so I will just uh, probably do something like this, you know, uh, levels a little bit so that I can bring up some, uh, some colors up, some colors down. Okay, already it looks much better to me. Of course, it's not, not a perfect thing, but it right now it looks better. And I would probably also yeah, come back here and desaturate this one. Uh, yeah, let's desaturate it. Levels. There you can see. Oh, maybe like this. Okay. Desaturate. And then get this uh, effect that is much more plausible to me. And then colorize it a little bit more with this on the orangey side. And it already looks much, much better. I will do some custom shaders later, probably this one. Uh, what I have to do is also fix these ones. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's do the, the same procedure. Okay, something like that. Duck, duck. Save it. Okay, so yeah, this is much better, much better. Yeah, probably, you know, sometimes those things happen if, uh, if two softwares use different gamma spaces and things like that. Okay, so metallic, let's see. Let's see also here. This one, smoothness. No, it wasn't so smooth. Okay, so metallic. Yeah, something like that. Let's go. And let's see if, if we can do something with those uh, with glass material. So this one levels. No, it doesn't contain any data. It's absolutely useless. Uh, but we had this glass glass material. We had this AO ambient occlusion. So we could use this ambient occlusion. And fix this one, yes, something like that. Okay, probably this could help. Yeah, this would be a better way, probably. So, 
If I take right now this material of glass and then instead of this add this bit uh no mix it AO Yeah something like that and then change the its color to something like this smoothness let's bring it up okay yeah this should be much much more interesting could be much more interesting uh from grayscale something like that let's see oh, yeah this and then the metallic okay yeah did, did this this isn't so bad just to saturate this value here yeah you can see that this normal map doesn't add anything to this let's try a little bit of coat mask no oh never mind let me see map okay we have also this emissive map let's see what what happens if we bring this up down I'll probably also desaturate this thing. Huh. It doesn't give me any changes. Why it doesn't give any changes? Who knows? Let's try this one here in this slot. No, it's completely useless. No, I will be just be uh, putting this. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, remove the base texture and set the color to white then turn the alpha down next to neighbor refraction set that uh, more to thin there you can see the last color refraction it is. yeah but I'm, I'm looking uh, look here this one doesn't have any any refraction so uh, yeah we are on a, on the surface of a planet uh, of a desert so there is no editing in this case so I wouldn't do this one Uh, and for a moment, I, I, I don't want to use uh, any refraction, but I will probably use it a little bit later. I'm just trying right now to to tune it so that it, like, it's all, almost there. To tune it a little bit more to, to match that one of the original files so or original video. So uh, let me see here uh, that uh, t, uh, where where it is. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I want to say one thing. Uh, I was thinking lately about uh, switching to uh, from YouTube to. Uh, Uh, to Twitch 
I don't know what you guys think about the, this. If you like that idea or don't like. Okay, let's save just this save before we go out. Okay. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we also have this thing that I don't know why it is white. It doesn't have any sense to be white. It's probably, yeah. So I will have to open original. Uh, everything here is much more. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to fix this. Yeah, I will, I will have to. Yeah, this is something like that. Uh, yeah, one another thing that I'm always doing because uh, Deckard has its own ability to treat uh, colors and uh, tone mapping. It does its own tone mapping. So I will be just turning off tone mapping here. I was saying just to be neutral, okay? So this already gives me a much better look because I, I then I can use in Deckard render uh, this type of, uh, you know, like uh, different color procedures. And then I will be just dropping down a little bit this, uh, where it is. Physically based sky, fog, enable, uh, exposure. Yeah, I will be dropping down exposure. And also, I have to turn right now this sun because I can see in original files. Let me just check where they are. Uh, downloads because I've closed them. Oh, no, sorry. I don't know what is going on. My mouse is keeping disconnecting. I'm not sure if this is because of streaming or what. It at the moment doesn't work. And I have to switch all the time. My, my inputs. Okay, so yeah, uh, tech. Yeah, my USB port is is going nuts. Okay, so we can see here right now when I go here on this frame. It's catching the light, but there's swing. moments there where it's, at, yeah, that shine. Okay, yeah, so this is wow. our frame. You can see here right now that the sun is much stronger from this side, from the left side. So I will be just setting it something like that. I'm trying to find a position where it can bring more reflections uh, and I can achieve this maybe with more uh, intensity multiplier okay something like that no uh, yeah we have to also set up Maybe also resolution, I will have to put on high so that I can get more. And then I will have to go to my material and uh, set this to metallic, a little bit stronger metallic. No, smoothness maybe. No. Uh, let me 
just try it out. How could I do this? Or well, probably, even probably, I could even do another thing because in those shots, usually, in shots like this, uh, it's not only one light. We usually have more lights. So let me see, I will add uh, the, I could add just another light, point light, something like this, and put it here. Yeah, right now a problem, a little bit of problem is that HDRP can't emit really strong point lights. If I set it to point light, you can see it is pretty pretty uh nothing special so if if it has to fight with uh yeah and then i ha i can only thing that i can do is like add here one zero but it's nothing yeah it's nothing uh, let's try with area light because area light can give me some nice looking reflections and I'm using sometimes that, those area lights okay you can see right this is what I what I actually want but it's not so strong one of the things that I could do is uh, uh, p -p 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 intensity, drop down intensity of this slide. I would do it like this. Then go into reflection probe. Okay, let's keep it like this. Okay, one of the things that I can also do, because I have too much of this blue and we don't have this thing in the... Uh, then I will have to... Okay, sorry. I have to go also here into uh, exposure. Okay. And as we actually don't have so much uh, of this blue in, the, in our original file, in the original video, you see here, it's not illuminated by the sky, that is blue, that sky is probably reddish, so I will uh, be changing these properties of the sky, and let's go here, ground tint, okay, iron saw tint, yeah, one of the things that we can do is aerosol tint. It already, yeah, it's look more deserty. Horizon tint, also this one. Okay, yeah. So this one we can change it, and this will reflect to our uh, to everything that we have here a little bit. And then the fog, uh, base height, fog attenuation distance. Let's add a little bit of fog. Maximum height. No, it's too much, it's too much, it's too much. No, we don't need it. For a moment, let's keep it turned off. Then go into the sun, move it, rotate it a little bit more because I don't like it, like it as it is here. Okay, yeah, something like that is more plausible. Okay, I'm trying just to match it more or less. yeah this is already something let me see more similar but 
yeah rocks aren't rocks aren't so i have to take some light off the rocks uh okay 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 found it found it Yeah, this should be more similar. It's not still perfect, but it is more similar. Then afterwards, we will be doing some, some tone mapping and uh, things like that. Uh, right now, I want to, to work more uh, on the uh, material itself because material itself it's uh, it's a little bit easier I hate this white thing that we have here but I don't know this is the problem when, when you have everything baked yeah this should be this part of uh, of rotors you can see this part this part this part and those parts so I will have to use smart. Yeah, sometimes it's sometimes it's easier to just to make everything whole model by yourself because if you have to do those changes, then afterwards you are practically done with. My uh, uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm using Photoshop uh, Smart sele uh, Smart Selection. Okay, I think that we can also do it like this, and then just hopefully. Colorize. I will put a little bit of colorize saturation down. Uh, okay, something like that. Save. Let's see. Yeah, it fixed my issue. Okay, great. It probably it's not perfect, but never mind. Never mind. I would like to know what is this part if I can select this part just this part but okay I can I can see it where it is okay perfect so I will be adding here doing some burn uh, burn to oh, wait burn I have to dodge to no sorry uh, burn to yeah i have to say here shadows burn shadows so that this brings down a little bit of those shadows yeah something like that because when we change some kind of uh, okay the sponge to desaturate with this file save yeah this is already much better okay so let's go and try to do some stupid things try some okay fuji this is fuji uh, yeah, this is Fuji profile and it's much, much closer to a, to original, somewhat closer. Okay, and then, when you're working with those on, on these things it's always important to iterate so you do something then you change something else and then you do something else
Yeah, we we won't be able to match it completely. That lighting, but who minds? Okay, so uh, I think that this one could be. Uh, we could call it done. Okay, so uh, let's go to. Okay, so we have here one copter. Uh, this is one copter. Let's move it. I'm just looking here, so it's more. So, ah, okay, and also we should uh, do some cropping. Where it was, uh, lateral boxing. Okay, because otherwise I will be. Okay go a little bit back okay yeah one of the things i don't like on this model is you can see that there aren't any ribs here and you can see that on the original there are a lot of ribs these things so uh i, I think that i will have to remodel them probably Probably something like that. Let's see if we can do. Uh, okay, later probably. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Also, we have on origin uh, in this scene. These things are up. So let's move them like something like here. And that's probably why I didn't, but unfortunately here we don't, uh, those objects aren't separated, never mind. I will just put them like this. And also those here, yeah, something like that, never mind. Dark. Let's try that one with, uh, with, uh, Refraction. So I will be adding here uh, an override that is called uh, re uh, screen space refraction. Okay. Uh, okay. And then go into material for this one glass material. Set it to uh, 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 refraction model thing so this should blur a little bit of interiors yeah transmitters color let's put it something a little bit But here I'm not I'm not using uh, ray tracing because I don't want to use ray trace. Ah, okay, it looks be much better, I think. Hi, Nathan Thomas. How are you doing, my friend? <laughs> nice to see you here again. Uh, okay, so let's see. Right now, what we have to do here is okay. Yeah, I will be just copying this one because I I need another one that was in the original in the original scene. You can see it there behind. Duplicate, then just move it here. Move it. Move it down, maybe a little bit in, into a back and something like, no, probably more closer, okay, something like this. Yeah, something like that. We aren't trying to do it exactly as it is, because it's 
Okay. And now we have to do some animation to our wings. And this is a little bit. No, it's not a tricky thing, but. I will duplicate just this this camera. Uh, turn my original camera with Deckard Render off, and then uh, open Deckard View. Okay. Close this. Remove component. Because uh, I will need this one just to try out some some uh, scripting. Okay. So we can see here right now that we have this rotations here let me see how much of those rotations are important okay zero zero yeah i think that i can zero everything here uh also this one i can zero out okay i will zero out also this rotor okay zero out completely so let's place them i will show you what i what what was my intention actual do some scripting animation by scripting so it's like it won't be a real animation rotation zero okay so right now i have zeroed everything and what what I'll be doing? I will be creating a new script uh, that is called C sharp script. Let's call it flip flap flip flap. Okay, something like that. Uh, and what will do this script? It will animate my uh, everything here so flip flap what we need we need some va variables here in one of those okay let's call it pub public uh, transform transform uh let's say wing uh, transform so this will take our transform of uh, of a wing object then we will need something like public uh, float amplitude where we can define how much we want our uh wings to move up and down something like that we will see later uh then we will need something like quaternion quaternion uh original rota rot yeah rot or original rotation so we will take uh, at the first step the first frame uh, just an original rotation of those objects and then we need something like probably public uh, float speed let's set this one to something like uh, i was looking at how fast dragonfly moves its wings uh, and it's said that it moves from 20 to 30 times at a, at a second this means that actually every frame it should be up or down but i think that we will go to something much bigger like 60 because we want some more motion blur uh, and then let's see this thing okay so we start what we want to do to, uh, to assign this original original rot rotation and that should be quaternion uh, converted to Euler uh, 
angles. And this should be zero, zero, zero. The one that I already set on all objects. Okay. Uh, and now we have to do something in update. And in update, we will be doing something like this uh, quaternion, probably minimum. That is that equals original rotation. Sorry, uh, I want to share my screen. Original rotation. Uh, original rot, okay, per, per, uh, quaternion, uh, Euler, okay, and here we have to set something, yeah, we will see if this is correct. Uh, um, um, amplitude, okay, one per amplitude, okay, one, we don't need even one for amplitude, one, but never mind, okay, amplitude, then zero and zero, I'm hoping that we have to move it in local coordinates, uh, on this axis, on x axis, so uh, 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 okay. I know, okay, yeah, and then we will be copying this one, copy and call it max original rotation. And here we have to put one, uh, no, minus one per amplitude because we want a negative number so this when we set this amplitude value to something and let's say amplitude equals I don't know 20 degrees okay uh, if we set to 20 no, 15 degrees okay well, we can change it later uh, it will move 15 degrees up 15 degrees down. This should be like this movement. And uh, then what we want to do is to to assign to our ring transform uh, local rota uh, rotation uh, wing no, what I uh, wing, wing, uh, tran, ah, okay, transform, local rotation should be uh, quaternion, we always have to, yeah, work on quaternions, and we will be using sl slurp, slurp, slurp. If you know what is a uh, LERP, LERP is interpolation between linear values. Uh, SLERP is uh, interpolation between spherical values. So this means that it will work well on angles. Because we want actually that, you know, uh, uh, a wing is moving in sinus, is sinusoidal form because it has like uh, it doesn't move like this but it moves like this so we have to create here a function that uh, practically will uh, slurp between mean and max value and then a value should be Math, uh, math f sinus uh, and for sine uh, sinus uh, sine uh, we will use time 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 is a uh, time uh, from uh, from our uh, 
uh, scene. But here we have one smaller pro problem. Let, let me show you right now. Uh, because sinus will uh, slurp accepts values from 0 to 1. Sinus is a value from uh, minus 1 to 1. So we have to normalize this thing. So we will be uh, adding here plus 1. OK. After adding plus 1, we will be multiplying this per 0 0.5 or dividing by 2 but I'm using always multiplying 0 0.5 because it's faster for CPU and also we as we have a value of uh, speed so that we can control speed we will add here time time per speed so time time is uh, uh, actually time that is going on uh, relative time to a gameplay and it's usually used for also in Deckard uh, you can use this one mm. so once we compile this We will have to assign it to every rotor. But why have here so many rotors? I ah, need there are eight. Okay. So I will have to assign this script. Let's see if we can add component flip flap. Okay, I will be adding to every every object here. So let's see what is going on right now if I press play. Let me just check. Ah no, I forgot one important thing because I yeah, I had to take this transform so I will be adding here uh, on start I will be adding here uh, wing transform equals game object uh, uh, transform okay so this will take the game object transform and use it as a, uh, this this game object for each object. Yeah, I'm just trying to make it more simple because I could also animate everything here, but you know we have eight flaps to animate, and uh, it's a little bit like a nasty thing. It could be pretty annoying. Okay, so you can see, uh, okay, but we don't have a correct uh, axis, so I will have just to fix that one. But you can see already that it, it, some kind, in some kind it works, okay. We could actually do even, even those things like, uh, let me just check my script, so uh, amplitude, let me see here, uh, change just probably it's, what is it, local, okay, local, I have to, yeah, I didn't check it like this, so this is Z axis, okay, and we were moving at uh, X, okay, Z axis. So we will just uh, move uh, 
this one okay mm, up to okay something like that okay and then just deleting those two zero for zero okay so this should be that one <sighs> hi rasko nice to meet you again hello my friend Okay, so you can see right now that we have those wings that are a little bit out of... No, they, every, uh, every wing is in the same phase, but we don't want this. So that, that's why I'm making a script. So if I change here values a little bit, something like that, okay, you will see that they will move. Or every wing will move in, in its own way. We can also like change amplitude, just like uh, put it bigger or smaller, and we can have it like this. So yeah, I think that we should just go and uh, change those speeds a little bit randomly. I could also assign this in a random way, a random fashion, but for a moment I think that it's uh, pretty okay like this. Well, yeah, let's change all amplitudes because not, not each... Uh, yeah, we could also do some... But I don't see that it can be seen too much, like changing those amplitudes uh, we'll just bring it everything there I think that this this should work pretty well yeah something like that so if we start rendering like this with Decker view uh, okay with uh, Deckard. Oh, guys, I had uh, uh, I think that you hear me, but uh, yeah, you can probably see me, but uh, my computer just crashed. I'm not sure why. I had a blue screen, and I don't think that I've saved anything. <laughs> Yeah, I hope that there is something left. Oh my god, this is a pretty bad thing. Yeah, those things happen when you are online. I don't know what to do right now. Let's just wait that it boots. I forgot to save. <coughs> yeah, unfortunately when you... Uh, when you're streaming, then you, then I, I, I forgot, I, f I forget to save something. Yeah, this happens. Let me just open YouTube because. I hope that you're hearing still.
Sorry, just a second uh, that I have to re reload everything. I hope that you could see it here. I fortunately using uh, hardware encoder, so this uh, thing uh, actually shouldn't break the streaming. Okay. So let's see, uh, yeah, let's launch Unity. I think that my computer went too hot, probably. Unity Hub. Okay, let's launch it. Hopefully everything is recorded, so I will be putting a shorter version of this uh, project just with key key, th key th features <laughs> I think that I will have to uh, assign uh, all the scripts and things like that but it's yeah it should be a few seconds a few minutes this is why I wanted. To, uh, this is why I also wanted to uh, go onto a Twitch because Twitch is probably a better platform for this kind of a, of a workflow. You know, like more of a vlogging than 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 a real cast. Okay, so we have here it, we have it here. Yeah, as I thought, some things are missing. So let me just check what is here. Uh, latest things, screen space reflection, uh, refraction we have, but I think that materials are, uh, yeah, been lost, glass, Transparency, okay, yeah, this should be set to thin, okay. Then we had some light that we have rotated. Let me just check, but already I already know more or less how it should be. I hope so. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we have here smaller things. Oh my god, too many things to fix. But yeah, right now I already know how to deal with those things. So probably it won't be uh, 
such a problem, hopefully. So let's, yeah, uh, I would be going into fixing those issues with... Uh, Okay, I will be going to fixing those issues with uh, with these small things. I can work on them later, and then let's go here. And uh, yeah, uh, I will just be adding to each rotor add component uh, flip flap okay it, it is already selected uh, amplitude speed uh, yeah it, it should be okay it, it shouldn't be such a big problem let's duplicate just this uh, script deactivate this one and okay decker render will turn to remove component okay and uh, yeah, let's. Uh, okay, I have to remove this. No, no okay. Ah, uh, I made an error. Duplicate, okay. So I have to activate this one, deactivate it, and then remove. Okay. Remove component. Remove component, okay. And right now, if I put it in play, it should flip flap correctly yeah it does it does it so let's just randomize a little bit those speeds just a little bit like that Okay, so uh, yeah, I have random randomized speeds. Let's uh, randomize amplitudes a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. Just because we, we want to add some kind of a, of a randomization. I could do, do it also with the script, but never mind. For a moment, it's a pretty okay like this so if I put it in play <coughs> yeah this, this should be pretty correct behavior <laughs> so from this standpoint I actually don't uh, I don't have any special problems. Uh, apart that I lost my settings that were pretty well matched. I think it's... Let me just, just check original file. Uh, uh, where it is. This is the original file, so we had <laughs> okay, so this is the one. Yeah, as you see, I don't have these nice things. Uh, I, I hate that I don't have this. I will have to add that one. But never mind. For a moment, let's say that we are okay. Uh, and also, I think that my uh, main... My main 
profile isn't actually correct. Okay, yeah, something like that could be a better thing. Then I, I, I okay, I have also dropped down intensity of the sun. Okay, something like that. Then I can play with this material just a little bit. Because I don't want so much of uh, reflection, or or maybe I want no, I want it just to be a darker like that. Okay, something like that. Reflection probe. Let's check this one. This is on enable every frame because I want to it to reflect every in each frame. And uh, yeah, I will be uh, trying also to add some another lights, uh, but yeah, we have to drop down this light, okay, and then uh, bring up a little bit of. Uh, of exposure just to have more space to add something like uh, pa, 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 pa. okay let's add a little bit of volume uh, of a fog fog attenuation okay base height okay Okay, no, maximum, maximum fog distance. Okay, so let's bring this. Uh, okay, fog activation. Because we don't want too much fog, we just want a little, little bit, little bit of fog. Just to add to, a, to an atmosphere. You can see that here we have a little bit of fog that is probably a little bit of bluish uh, so we will be just tinting this to something yeah so you can see with this i'm just already changing it to be more more similar to this Probably not so much blue, but of course those things are some things that can be also done with uh, yeah. Those things can be done uh, also with post processing. But another thing that I want to add probably here is uh, screen space. Uh, screen space. Uh, reflections just to see if they do anything minimum smooth yeah they do you can see that if I turn them off yeah if I turn them off and uh, on I have a little bit more of uh, Let's set it to high. Yeah, we could use also uh, f f f f ray tracing, but I don't want to use ray tracing because I don't think that ray tracing has any sense in, in this uh, in this case. Okay. You will see also that here we have a little bit more of a contrast, I think. Yeah, a little bit more of a contrast, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, because we have also this light that that is rotated a little bit more. Hmm. I'm not 
sure. It's the original abide okay though. Yeah, I have a problem here because this model doesn't have smooth edges and this can be uh, sometimes a, a problem. So I will probably have to import it into the 3D studio and just add some some kind of smoothed edges but for now let's keep it like it is okay let's let me check this one uh int pass Yeah, I don't have them, but never mind. Let's keep it like this for a moment. And then, uh, yeah, let's add some other lights and just try to light uh, area light. Control save. Because many times you, when you're making some movies or something like that, you are actually adding a lot of uh, fake lights. You don't want... You don't have to think about that, that yeah, oh, yeah, I have uh, one sun and it's, it's the only source of... Uh, Of lighting. Let's bring it up. Intensity multiplier. Okay, nothing. It doesn't happen. Okay, yeah, so this, something like that. Yeah, you can see here you have this chamfer edge. Here you don't have this chamfer edge. So I'm unable to get that nice, nice. But never mind. I'll be using it like this. <coughs> I will be using it like this and then. Let's just check this, uh, what can happen here on this glass interior. Let's bring it up. I think that if I, if I bring it up, it's more similar. Yeah, it's more similar to this. And then later we will be when we start adding a little bit of, uh, you know, like all the effects, it should be much better. Just trying to tune it up. Okay, let's save it before we. Okay, 
Hello guys, uh, can you uh, do you hear me or I'm not sure if if I'm online anymore. Niazi writes, the problem with fake lighting is that if you move an object near where the fake light is placed, then it doesn't look natural. Uh, of course, but uh, you have always, you are always trying to control lighting. So it's like, uh, you always have, to, uh, it's not like, when you're doing something like cinematographic, it's not like in gaming. In gaming, of course, it, it doesn't work because uh, you have uh, a possibility to move everywhere. In these things, you move lights uh, accordingly to your shot, to your angle. And this is uh, usually uh, a true, so you are just moving it like it should be. Uh, like it, uh, how to say, uh, where it looks better. It doesn't have to be cor correct. It's all, almost never uh, absolutely correct. If you're not shooting something in a, in a real environment, like... Oh, okay. I love that shot. Wow. Let's check this thing. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to... I love that shot. Wow. Okay, so we have right now this... Okay. We will have to make three of them. And, and, and I can see right now this thing is a little bit more bluish. I was going more onto a red. Uh, and I will be changing this because uh, I see that it looks more bluish. No, 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 no. This one is was okay. Okay, let's just desaturate this. Okay. Glass, glass material, glass material. Uh, so we had here a white. And that should probably be a little bit of blue, yeah. And then we have here this uh, thin refraction and just put it to a little bit of, not even blue, maybe, maybe greenish. Okay, and let's just create smoothness a little bit less. Okay, something like this. Maybe this darker. Oh, you know, it should be darker. Let me play with metallic, see what happens. No, metallic is too much. Probably not metallic. Probably something like that. Okay, yeah. This should be closer apart from a lower part, but yeah. And then let's uh, just rotate this one a little bit. No, 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 no. It was better before, so yeah. yeah. Let's come back with those things here that, that weren't correct. That I already did, but got lost. And yeah, this one and that up. It's not perfect, but never mind. Okay, something like that. Okay, ah, uh, what I've lost. I've lost this thing. 
letterboxing that I've made because it changes a lot of uh, thing. Why I'm using letterboxing? Because uh, you could I could also render it like in the correct aspect ratio, but uh, letterboxing helps me with uh, with uh, screen space reflections. So yeah. This is a main reason why I'm using it. Okay, right now I'm looking at the original and I can see that this thing should be probably... Uh, yeah, something like that. Much further. Something like this, okay. So we have right now... I'm just trying to... To match original scene. You can see right now I'm trying to uh, put this uh, yeah something like that here and something like that there and to have it more similar. Yeah, this should be okay. And then afterwards, yeah, this is unfortunate that we don't have here anything, but never mind. Uh, let's just drop it down and, uh, yeah, right now I think that it should work pretty well because if I go here into my camera uh, save let me just check if I go duplicate this one duplicate somewhere there And this one somewhere because there was a th uh, okay my 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 brick is too close so let's move this further. You can always move it further and then just uh, scale it. Something like that. Okay. Uh. And let's try right now this scene with all those Okay, so we have everybody moving wings and right now we have here uh, motion blur that is direct from unity and this one I don't no um, we can keep it because uh, it will help me later on Okay, so let's check this thing out. So right now we have a camera. Love that that wow, dude, that's wow. So okay, and we have a. Oh, I love that shot. Wow, dude, that's how much it is. I think that I will have to open it in Resolve. Just a moment. Uh, I will be opening it in Resolve and extracting just that part of the sequence so that I can watch frame by frame and see how many frames there are and what I should do.
Okay. <clears throat> so we are here in Resolve. DaVinci Resolve. I'm using this one for all the CG things. Uh, for, 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 for video editing. So I will be opening uh, regional downloads. Let me see. I'll be just dropping it here. Change. Okay. Create new timeline from clips. And so, yeah, we are here. Edit. Let me see here the edit page. Where is that seed? Okay, so we have here a scene. Designed the dragonfly as ornithopters. Oh my god, they're, they're actual dragonflies. Dragonflies are the coolest animals in the world, and I love any sort of ship designed after them. Like I said, I've been avoiding seeing any imagery from this movie, so this is my first time seeing any of it, and I love okay, it. Okay, I have to find it. Oh, okay. So this is the seed. Let's find the first frame. Okay, this is the first frame. Cut it out. Uh, delete. Okay, and then go to a last frame of a seed. Oh, I love that shot. Okay. So here we have some time codes, time codes, um, we can see that this scene is long, uh, three seconds, three seconds, yeah. so first second, okay, yeah. Uh, okay, and this one comes in at one twenty. Three seconds and twenty frames. So what I will be doing here is just creating a new uh, object. Create empty timeline. Okay, I will call it. Uh, yeah, timeline, then create new timeline. Uh, June timeline, okay. Save everything because I don't want to lose anything here. Then I will be taking this timeline and uh, putting we have timeline selecting here because I want it to be blocked always. Then putting my turning on this camera, turning on this camera. Okay, putting on this camera as a activation uh, as a animation track. Then I will be adding this one. This is the first one, okay. That animation track. I would be probably animating this one, but never mind. Another one, add animation track. Add 
animation track okay and then i will have to create another one that will be in front of all the all the others okay something like this let me see how it's done in here okay so it's a little bit like this a little bit back a little bit rotated a little bit up Okay, perfect. So, yes, here, okay, yeah, this is pretty correct. Uh, then I have to put it here, add animation track. Also this, so let's start by animating this one. Let's go to, uh, duration mode frame rate 24 let's go to two seconds that's a 28 two seconds plus uh, how much it was it was two seconds 30, 13 frames okay two seconds 13 uh, thir 48 50 48 plus 61 oh, 62 let's make it like this let me just check this out okay let's move it a little bit more okay this should be and also unity will make from those curves like like this but i want it to be a linear curve uh, both tangents linear so in this way it will move linearly from one place to another okay uh, i don't i think that it's Let me just check from probably it's too 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 much it comes it enters the screen at one second 24 and two frames okay so yeah let me move it Now we'll be moving a little bit of camera and yeah, I think that I will have to uh, out of focus I will turn off because right now yeah it it already took everything and then just Let me see the, those curves. No, okay, probably those points are the more tangents. No. Oh, oh my God! How oh, it was uh, both tangents. something like that okay. yeah I could also 
I sh I have sh I should. Yeah, I can make it longer. But never mind. Let me see what we have here. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And then, yeah, we have to just make some adjustments to those. Because you can see it here. It's like, wow. We have two, then we have three practically so uh, this second one let me see where it is okay now let's let's first move camera because i have to move it okay something like that Then move it to a last frame. Yes. Okay, and let me see how those. Okay, yeah, they are moving. Everyone is moving a little bit up and down, so it's not uh, like a static thing. So let's go into each of those. Okay, let's go into this one, then go to into this one. Okay. a little bit like this, rotate it a little bit like this, okay, and move it, okay, so we have a third, third one, that should be a little bit behind, okay, so let me see this one, yeah, I would like to add some randomization, a little bit of this movement, like... And it will add onto motion blur that we are... that we will be using, okay. Okay, so this should be okay. Uh, file, save, let's save it. And now what we have to do, open Deckard view and just do some kind of a uh, little bit more of, uh, of uh, color correction so that 
Yeah, actually, I would have to fix everything a little bit later, but never mind. Okay, yeah, uh, 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 okay, probably camera should have a little bit bigger field of view because I'm watching right now here. Okay. Let me see just this brick here. Okay. Let's try that. I want some re uh, reflection here, but not so much. Or something like this, and then add some. Okay, yeah, this should be pretty. Uh, and let me just check here if we go into some sky. Uh, no, sorry. Add some override here. Let's do a little bit to those. Exposure fixed. Okay, so let's get here. Uh, lightning. Micro shadows, let's see if this changes anything. No, it doesn't change anything. Let's add here post processing and add, oh yeah, some chromatic aberration, just a little, just a little bit chromatic aberration, even if original doesn't have, but never mind. Uh, then add some post processing and add uh, lens distortion. No, no, that uh, Panini shadows, better. color adjust adjustments. Okay, this one. No, 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 it's not that one. Uh, add override. Uh, Shadow is alright. Post processing. Uh, sp split toning. No, it wasn't split toning. I always forget how it's right now called. Post processing. Lift, lift gum again. Okay, so this one is. Uh, this will help me to get a correct look so you can see just with these small adjustments we are almost on the same palette Yeah, of course, I would have to change those those glasses, but never mind. For now, let's keep them like they are. I think that at the end, we'll have some blurring and some things uh, going on, and uh, yeah. And then I will be adding something on my film transfer style here some filmic effects uh, 
Oh, where I lost, but... I lost somewhere, but... Read. Think that I found a bug in just check. Okay, and yeah, next thing that I will have to do is here add deck and render, deck and control track, add deck and control clip, and this will tell Decker to render render uh dragon fly okay go just the side here decorator okay so let's see if this can actually work hope that i don't, I don't get any kind of We are rendering. Oh my god. Niazi, uh, I think the wing speed needs to be faster. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see how it renders and, and uh, how it works. Right now it's uh, 60 hertz. So it's like uh, re pretty, pretty fast. Maybe even too fast. I don't know. As I said before, uh, real dragonfly has a uh, um, has a frequency of uh, twenty uh, of twenty thirty thirty twenty thirty hertz. If I think actually. Uh, this uh, like like that speed would should be a pretty big speed. So it's like when it does a whole movement, it should do it more or less three times up and down in one frame. So I think that it should be okay. Yeah, maybe I have too much uh, depth of field. No, uh, too shallow depth of field here. 
Yeah, we have to try many renderings. Because in the original it, it isn't so blurry. We have here more, much more blur. It's too blurry, it's too blurry. But I, I will have to render it just to see what what doesn't work and that what works because I think that movement is probably too fast. I've read a few times. Let me see what yeah, I have rendered only a few frames, but let me see what is going on here. Render Dragonfly, okay. Mm. Ah, okay, I forgot to turn off. Okay, I understand. I forgot to turn off uh, motion blur in unity i have to turn it off and also i have to do a few things here cover to clip track cover to clip track cover to clip track cover to clip track okay i'll just move it a little bit further like this and like this and then re-render uh yeah i have to turn off i forgot this thing no anti-aliasing i have to turn off here and i have to go into uh, set uh, custom frame settings rendering and turn off post process and motion blur okay uh, so in this way i want get too much accumulation of motion blur so yeah this this should be this should work i know of course of course i forgot i, for, I forgot i forgot another thing that i have to do is to uh, that card view just to fix a little bit issues with uh with blur no oh, yeah. okay no it's it is okay it was just because of accumulation of motion blur this one should work
I'm actually thinking that it's probably too fast. Moment of a But I'm not sure. Did you leave the slight flap rotation on the X or just the Z? Asks 9X. Uh, I only, only on Z axis. Yeah, I could do it also on... Uh, I could add some rotation also on, uh, on, uh, on X, but... eventually because I, i'm not sure how much we need it actually but yeah probably it could be done <clears throat> one of the things is that that here we have those flaps that are a little bit uh less uh, how to say less uh, they are not so thick as uh, in original and we don't have some elements there that that were important another thing that I could try is also I'll show you right now it's a uh, uh, is to record everything in to bake everything into a animation directly but I'm not sure I will see it later Yeah, I, I, I have should probably render it a lower resolution just to just to have a better idea of what is going on. And also probably, uh, yeah, my problem is here that I have on each of those uh, things I have the same flap movement. And this isn't okay because I I, I have should uh, just randomize everything a little bit more. Hmm. Maybe for a final animation, I will just uh, add some some kind of a randomization based on position and of each uh, object. Yeah, this is a good thing to do from time to time. <clears throat> it's not uh, too complicated. But you know, uh, I'm I'm always trying to make something uh, like with less effort possible. So if something doesn't work, then you add some some other options and then uh, you fix it. Go iterate over the uh, over the things that doesn't work. Otherwise, it, you know, like it's uh, you aren't doing at the same moment everything, you know.
The Aussie Tridex Threader with ray tracing on, just to see how it looks. I can tell you immediately, it, it won't change anything. It will just uh, bring times to, to much longer rendering times and uh, there is no any need here, as we don't have any reflections, refractions, anything like that. Okay, rendering is done. Okay, let's see how it works. Uh, ba, ba, ba. After after that, I I want to try if this doesn't work. I would I will. Yeah, they're too too synchronized. Too. Too, too synchronized. Yeah, I would need something. Uh, I think that this could be a main problem. If you have any ideas, guys, uh, I'm always open to listening. Uh, but I'm, I'm almost thinking that they are too fast. You can see here, like, okay, tuck, tuck, it's like, So I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. Let me see if I can. Uh, they are secret. Uh, maybe you can see it uh, in a full frame rate. I, I'm not sure, but yeah, no, it looks good. Okay, but it's not. It's not uh, what I actually think that I can achieve. I can achieve a better thing. Uh, I think that they, they should be just uh, slower, so, somewhat slower, I think, probably. I'm not sure. Let's try and render. I will save this one uh, six. Uh, this is like sixty, uh, sixty hertz. Let's try to drop down everything because I, I just want also to understand what is actually going on and what is the best way to uh, to achieve those things. You know. So like speed uh, divided by two. I'm not sure if this can work. No, I will have to change everything. Oh, by hand. Uh, I could actually. Or maybe you know like. Speed. Speed thirty. Let me just try it. And this way, I can just understand if I'm uh, maybe not for ev every for everything, but for some of the things. 
so those that are near this one was the near and this one was near so i will just try to like 70 60 i'm not sure and as i said uh original dragonfly uses around 30 hertz this means 30 times second <laughs> so let's see if this works somewhat better Because if it's too blurry, then you have a mess, you know, like, and it's a... Upon, uh, you should definitely stagger the flapping animation first. Yeah, um, this is what I'm trying to do. You know, like everything here is uh, pretty staggered because uh, each wing have uh, its own frequency and its own. Uh... One of the things that can, could also be done is like to randomize everything uh, in time so that add some uh, another sinus uh, randomization but i think that i think uh, i just want to understand if i need something uh, slower or faster you know And I actually need more details on on those wings. Uh, they are too 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 thin. They are really too thin for this thing. Because as they are moving, actually correctly, they are moving uh, in sinus wave. So this means like. But they are staying much more in in the upper position or in lower position. So this makes them uh, be uh, like you can see them more in those positions. Uh, maybe I should uh, add some kind of uh, I don't know some kind of a, of of a different interpolation i'm not sure maybe linear interpolation could work i i haven't tried lerp maybe lerp would work better uh, even if it's like uh this kind of motion is a uh, correct motion physically correct motion but uh, yeah I could probably do this I could do lerping just normal lerp 
or do something in, in between because let's see how it goes because the lerp is linear progression so it, it means that it will always have a same uh, velocity in movement but when it comes here it will go up not like but uh, the motion of uh, uh, sign motion is like physically correct because uh, it has to slow down and then speed up but maybe I should do something that is in between like just to smooth a little bit but not too much who knows actually good thing about real-time graphics is that you know rendering times aren't so so big and uh, you can do it try a few times and, and see a result immediately immediately it's not immediately but you know like 10 minutes waiting it's not like uh, if you look at a video by 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 the uh, corridor crew, crew they, they will say like oh it's impossible to do that many uh, iterations So anybody, uh, what do you think about my idea to switch on to Twitch instead of YouTube, uh, at least for those uh, these streamings? Do you like that this idea or I also don't. Uh... Uh, what are your thought? What are your thoughts of Unity buying Weta Digital? Yes. I think it's a it's a good uh, good turn for Unity and for for us users that are using uh, uh, real time graphics uh, or Unity for cinematographic. Uh, production uh, until now unity wasn't uh, seen as a big player and me myself uh, you know I, I, I have a lot of uh, I had a, have a lot of works in in this kind of industry and uh, unfortunately many of those works weren't uh, taken seriously because uh, everybody you know like calls me do you know how to use unreal and i was always like okay uh, everything that can be done in unreal can be done in unity and even more because uh, you know from my standpoint this is my ho ho honest opinion, so it's nothing uh, about uh, against Unreal or something like that. It's like my honest opinion. Uh, and I don't see any any reason to go uh, to learn the Unreal when I can use the Unity and, and, and make uh, great things, you know. Uh, and I also know, like from my from my perspective, like uh, some things to make in Unreal, like uh, like for example, Decker Ranger or, or other my assets, it will be almost impossible to make make them in Unreal because uh, you have to have a big team that you have to uh, okay. 
it's really hard to to support a, a, a software that, where you have to compile things uh, and to compile a whole software just to make something to work. So uh, from this standpoint, uh, like uh, Unity buying uh, uh, Wet Digital is a great thing because this means that it the, it will be taken more seriously. Seriously, and uh, for me and for any any anyone else that is interested in uh, virtual production and things like that. It's a uh, it's a great thing because uh, in, uh, it means that we don't have to switch softwares only because the people will tell you like oh we only want to work on, on Unreal and uh, we'll take more seriously Unity as a player in this system and of course. Uh, Another thing that is always important is like uh, having more options is, is always better for industry. Uh, having uh, something like, uh, like Unity Unreal and everything, you are, you, you, you are in front of a choice that you can make and, 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 and you know, like use those things okay let's check this one uh sorry let me switch here okay so this uh, no i don't like it probably faster who said that the faster is better i think that it is better I don't know anymore. I will, uh, you know, like uh, sometimes when you're working these things, it's better to like. Okay, so here we have at sixty hertz. This is a uh, more or less sixty hertz, but everything went equally. This is a. Uh, 30 hertz. Which one looks better for you? 30 more or less 60. I think that we have to do a linear interpolation. Yeah, I will have to do a linear interpolation because I can see always those ending points that are much more present than the, you see, than those intermediate points. This is, yeah, this thing about flapping and things like that, uh, it isn't so, it is really important also in the, in real cinematography. Uh, how to, you know, how to get a good frequency of, uh, of things that, that are going on. Uh, I remember that when I was shooting, I was really young, young, I have had 19 years, and we were shooting, uh, we didn't have anything digital, we were shooting uh, with, uh, with real cameras, and we had, uh, we were working on a movie with my friend, uh, where we had to shoot from a rifle. The problem is that uh, a real, ri uh, real uh, like uh, r rifle when, when it shoots, 
it is uh, it is so short that flash that uh, it might not be there in the frame so we had we had to take something like three five takes just to be able to see that flash and how did you look there you had a camera and uh, it was important actually that you don't see in a camera uh, that flash if you see a, a flash in the camera because you know uh, there is a like a mirror that is turning and uh, when you see something then uh, a film doesn't see it so if you see that flash in a in a you know awkward thing uh, that means that a film didn't see it, didn't saw it didn't uh, record it so it was really hard to nail you know like you have to do many shootings uh, just to have those uh, those things let me see another uh Uh, uh, Julian, uh, it seems to me the motion blur in the original shot for the wings is more evenly spread across uh, their range of motion. Yeah, this is what I was saying, but it, it uh, wouldn't be actually physically possible, but uh, yeah, it is probably. Uh, so I will have just to, to add some kind of, uh, yeah, just to do it linearly. Your version we see more uh, the top and bottom position. I wonder if there is a way to adjust that. Maybe adjusting the shutter angle. No, uh, it's not about shutter angle. It's about uh, real motion of flaps. So yeah, the, I would have just to make it linear. Also, not seeing the ribs as you said, it lacks a bit. Yeah, yeah. This is a true. I have to add those ribs. I will. I will add. I, I will add it, but not today. I wonder if there is a way to light the cur current wings so that this triple geometry show more. I'm not sure. I, I, I think that I will have to work on materials here. No, maybe, maybe, maybe if I add a little bit of smoothness to wings themselves, you know. Oh my god. I don't know what is going on right now in, in Unity because if I select one object and and and, and uh, change a material it will change just for that uh, object. Anybody knows what is going on because otherwise I have to go into material and if I change here it will change for all materials but if I go into an object I don't know what is going on this is a behavior that I really don't don't like I will have to ask something to, to unity developers of unity but th this happens only in in last uh, last version but i'm not sure even if this is a problem with my version of uh i don't know project something like that yeah you can see in the original they have here uh big ribs we here don't have any kind of ribs so i will have to add here i will be doing this so like yeah but you know it's uh, such a big hassle to add right now all the ribs that we need here like here okay so i have to add something like 3d object okay let me see uh cylinder okay something like that cylinder edit here 
let me just check it out okay scale it down so oh, it's probably better to do it in a, and edit here so something like that because uh, this is actually how it how it is on the, on the original so something like like this Probably something like that would give me some. Let me, let's create material. Uh, rig. Okay. I don't know. Rig. Uh, add here something like metallic smoothness. Okay. Uh, I need something that reflects very well. So it. That one that is in a real object isn't a good solution. Okay, so and then duplicate, 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 duplicate. And you can see right now, oh my my main material has disappeared as I duplicated object. Why? I don't know. Who does know? Kudos. Nobody knows. Okay. And now we have to do for each wing like this. Oh my god. Maybe something like that also. A little bit scale it up. Okay, then go into a material. <sighs> Ring. You know, if I have something like this, then it will behave much better. Another way, another thing that I could do also here uh, as for animation, because I, right now I have this script that... Uh, uh, interpolates everything let me see just one thing let's mute this one let's uh, no, let's see duplicate this camera okay Deactivate this camera because I have to deactivate. Uh, this is a rendering camera that I'm using. Remove component. Another way to do something like this would be to add here a uh, 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 unity recorder, recorder track. Okay, so I will create here add from add recorder clip. Okay. This is a recorder clip. It should be able to record any movements from a, uh, from a thing that I'm using. Pero, uh, so right now I can select this and say here movie. No, I have to animation clip, register animation clip. Then put my game object here. Order transform. Okay, and then uh, say disable this one. Uh, no, current. Uh, why doesn't give me possibility to? Let's transform. Okay, so I don't want it to be this says target frames, but I don't want it like that. Uh, recorder settings. Uh, I would have to change here. Okay. 
let me let me do it like this duration mode frame rate let's set it to 60 feet fps okay so idea main idea is like to uh activate this one and when i activate this one it should record flip-flop animation okay so it recorded this animation so i can deactivate this one and go into a folder that are recordings okay and i have here this file so if i go uh, and disable this file uh, that i was recording okay and i create another animation track i should be able to drop down this one okay and oh no i didn't do it well uh let me just check it out my camera i oh, don't know wait a second okay no not that one this one recorder clip record hierarchy why didn't record hierarchy? Ah, no, no, okay, no, it recorded. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Remove start offset. Okay, so this, you can see right now that it recorded everything that I've scripted already. And if we look here at... Uh, at uh, positions of rotors okay no sorry rotations of rotors you will see this curve so this is like what happens actually we could also maybe take this curve and say here botangens leader okay so in this way it will become leader motion so if i render this it will be much more like uh, like it should be i think more randomly yeah something like that <clears throat> but i should do for each of those clips so i could go here and uh, say okay a recorder clip uh, I will drop down let me see at the end I will need just this first one uh, I don't need any more okay let me record this one so we have another clip then I will assign it to a. Uh, what happens? Okay. And see if this works better. It probably should work better. Okay, so I will deactivate uh, upload files. Let me see. okay yeah i will have to put this into a sleep uh, three day. ok 
Okay, I'll put this into sleep. Okay, then I will just add this one to a new uh, animation track and then drag and drop this one. So, yeah. Let's change also this one. No, okay, yeah. Let's keep it like this. Uh, let's try if this one works better. No, okay, I have to remove start offset. Start it. No, it doesn't work. Uh, 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 uh. No, I don't know why it does. Okay. Let's try like this one just to render it out. Dragon Flight 30, okay. Uh, and just render it. Hello. Okay. Uh, uh, pause. Let me just check this. Okay have to disable this camera, enable this camera, and then say decor view. Render, okay, here, yeah. let's try this one. Let's punch a little bit of uh, this rendering times. I will just lower the quality because I don't need it so much. So I will go to rendering high, uh, half resolution and two steps. So this will give me less, uh, less quality motion blur, but I will get better feeling on what is going on. Oops, oops, oops. What is going on here? Why it doesn't render? have to check here a few things <sighs> I'm not sure why it doesn't render Oh my god, it doesn't render. I think that I have animated something that I shouldn't. I oh, know, of course, because I I have deactivated <coughs> render track for decor render.
Yeah, you can already see, Julian, you can already see that these things that are a little bit glowy help a lot with uh, with the blurring, with to, just to to help to see the motion. Just on one wing, I think that it works much better. Oh, but I forgot to deactivate all the scripts. Oh my god. Never mind. Okay, I think that I will be finishing this stream. Uh, and then I will be putting my hands on this again, just to see how can I improve this motion. Uh, 
a little bit more no j just to make it more similar to Here, yeah, here you can see how it moves actually. Why it renders. Okay, let's just check it what it yeah yeah this is a new version but yeah probably I should make it more linear this motion not slurping not slurping that I don't know I will have to look again at uh, original. Let me see original. Oh, I love that shot. No, original is much faster. Yeah, original is much much faster. Oh, I love that shot. Wow. Okay. Maybe I just should put it oh, I love that shot. to some extremely fast. But uh, yeah, but also you can see here that that uh first and last thing are uh much more seen so yeah maybe you guys had a uh how to say good intuition that it should be much much more faster so let's see yeah maybe i will try just i will just try to make everything here uh okay so this animation uh, okay so i will yeah i will just do this thing i will crank up everything here to some uh, extreme values extreme values okay yeah yeah no, no, not so uh, speed something like 500 500 something less 500 something more 500 something less uh, 500 something more 500 something more less 500 less 500 okay something like this and then go into another one and just do the same thing. Five hundred duck. Five hundred five hundred oh. five hundred duck. Five hundred a little bit more. 500 500 okay or if i say another time 500 kill me okay uh and try to render it right now i think that this could probably be that result there
Yeah, original uh, Dynex. Originally so fast it looks static. Yeah, it is. It is so fast that it looks static, but uh, it has this shimmering that I like pretty. So it's the problem is if it's so fast, then you don't see it. You, you can see it right now. It's like, oh, I don't see it. If it's not thick, it should be thicker than this. I think. You, you can see that, that you can't see it even. Oh, let's see, maybe, maybe, maybe we can see it. The problem is that, that I can scale it without going into, how to say, uh, changing the mesh. Because everything is, is like one single mesh, so. Yeah, but right now, like, shimmering ribs are there, you know, like, much more. You can see them right now, in every frame. They're fixed. So, yeah, maybe I, I should do, add those ribs and add something, like, to those. Yeah, this could work. with other lighting I think I need some some more lighting uh, more lighting, more more uh, more th uh, more things on, uh, on the wings maybe some rotation of the wings uh, I will see You can see right now where we have those ribs, they can be seen, but we can see. Uh, Dynex, thank you.
Okay, so let's see it right now. Where it is? Yeah, this is more like original. I just have to. Yeah, I just have to add some some kind of a no uh, to add also to the, those behind same motion and add a little bit of those uh, rings around. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll be doing this tomorrow and then I will be posting it. Then I will be posting it. Okay, guys, I'm uh, turning off. Uh, Yeah, we need some some more reflection. Maybe, maybe I have maybe I could even put them more ref, on a reflections reflective side. You know, like if I put them more on a reflective side and then bring up uh, its values like this, uh, maybe they will work much better so something like this just for effect even if statically they don't look like they should but i think that that this works oh yeah yeah let me see maybe i can also add some uh Light, point light, something like this. No, no, no. Let's try some, some, some kind of move a sound just to have a little bit of reflection, uh, reflection on, uh, yeah, on that side. Uh, problem is to find some kind of a nice angle. Uh, I can't find it. Oh, I think that maybe this could work. And then just add a little bit of uh and go on to another objects because those in the background this one that is in the background doesn't have uh rotor values on the five hundreds uh speed five hundred let me see let's try those Thousands, okay. Yeah, it was easier to to do some kind of a scripting, but never mind. Uh, that that no, also for for scripting, I would have to change variables. Okay, so let's try this one. 
And it, this is the last try and I have to go to sleep because I have to also to work. I just want to see how it looks. One of the things that are incredible, uh, Nidex, thank, uh, thanks Oliver, see you next, uh, next time. Thank you to, it was nice seeing you, and thanks for suggestions. Uh, the thing that is really like, okay, what I'm always saying also my something that physically is correct and uh, it doesn't always look best so it's better to to go with your like intuition is like that that's why I'm mostly trying always like to to animate things by hand or even if, if it's like physics and or things like that um, because the, they might look better in in some uh, you know from some angle and with some certain camera settings Niazi, I think that around thousand works pretty well. Even if that would be impossible physically. No, but, but no, maybe it would be possible uh, if, if on the June there is a, there isn't an air uh yeah that is so yeah but you, you always have some some kind of uh, inertia so yeah do, these things are mostly done uh, for uh... <clears throat> For movies, they are done for movies, not for, not a simulation of real life. As we actually don't know how they are, uh, how those things behave, you know.
Okay, let's see what it looks like. Okay, something like that. But I think that I I should extend this animation a little bit more. Right now, I'm using just a lower quality rendering. Yeah. Let me just check our original. Oh, I love that shot. Look at that. Wow, dude. Yeah, in the original, there is more shadowing cap going on. Oh, I love that shot. You see this thing. Let me see what I think. Of course, yeah, I'm no, it's too strong. Okay, I have to also drop down a little bit of uh, Deckard view. I have to drop down a little bit. Exposure. Okay, probably this one could be a better way. And then just drop down a long attenuation base. Alright. Exposure just a little bit down. Okay, so yeah, this, this should work. Okay, I'm uh, closing this stream right now, uh, and thank you, everybody. I hope that you had some insight and fun. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I hope. Uh, I think that my future uh, streams will be on a Twitch live streams. Will be on a Twitch. I will have yet to decide. Thank you and uh, see you. Have a nice day, evening, or what is in your world. Bye bye.